Alright, so today I'm going to be going over my speed run on how to get through the silos, nuclear silos on Fallout 76 very quickly. Now, I am on Xbox, so loading times are going to be slowing this down. For those who are on PC, you can probably go a little bit quicker with it. Um, loading times will probably already be loaded in by now. God, I love this. I still have the first gen Xbox and it's terrible. But, I do want to note that I will be using some glitches to get through some uh, certain areas. Uh, I have been doing it for two and a half years and I have had no problems. Granted, Bethesda's terms and the, their actions, whatever their services are, it is against it to be using any type of glitches. So I don't recommend doing it, um, but like I said, I've been doing it for two and a half years I've never had any problems. And uh, yeah, so first things first, we are going to need to get ourselves scanned. We're just going to be racing through this area, going through these doors and coming to this back room right here. Make sure there's nobody in here. Scan ourselves immediately. Uh, we're just going to ignore all of the enemies inside there. There's probably going to be somebody waiting for me on the outside. And once we get outside, we're just going to pop and get there he is. It usually seems to always happen. So once we get out here, we're just going to wreck him. Um, I can do my full build then later on in another video. Um, next up is to find that old biometric key card. Um, I could just skip these guys if I really wanted to. Even those lasers, they don't really do too much. Um, and then we're going to come here in this room and scan the card. Um, realize this guy's going to come at me, make sure we're good, we're good. As soon as we scan that, we're going to go onto this computer here. And then go down to fabricate biometric ID card. You'll see it pop up in the upper left-hand corner, and we're going to run into this room here. And we are going to scan it really quickly. As soon as we scan it, we don't need to wait. We can just start running towards this door right here, as we now have the clearance. We're going to come through this door here and cut left right into this door. There's going to be two uh, Mr. Gusties, usually. Yep, there's the other one. And we are just going to take them out. Now from here, all we're going to do is hit start. Go to photo mode and flash right through there using the photo mode glitch. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you just kind of want to get up as close as you can to the door. And um, the camera actually phases through your character, which makes him sort of invisible. And you can just phase through that door as well, as you can see there. And now we are going to be making our way through the nuclear silo. Go into the left door right here, and we are actually already in the control room. So we are about two minutes deep, a little bit over two minutes deep, and now once we are in this room here, we can start making our way up to the launch control computer. Uh, you just gotta watch out for the Assaultrons as well as these two turrets. So we'll quickly take them out. So that way they're not shooting us when we're on the computer. Now you see that Assaultron down there? We gotta be really quick with this because he's gonna come up here really quickly and start blasting me. So we're gonna initiate that. And we're going to take this guy out while this is happening. And now all we need to do is just hang tight and wait for these guys to, uh, the chiefs to start building the nuke or getting the prep for the nuke ready. While we're doing that, we can go around and clear these turrets out and any enemies. So that way uh, things are happening while things are happening, if that makes sense. So that way we're not clearing out the room, then launching, because then we're just wasting more time. So um, you can see all the locations where I am destroying all of these turrets. They are always in the exact same location. Okay, oh boy. Okay, yep. See, that's, that's a problem. This is a problem, but that's okay, because Fixer and Stealth are great. And we're just going to take him out. Okay. So there's two, always two Assaultrons in that room, in this uh, room. And now I'm going to be opening up all the doors, which will allow the um, chiefs, chieftains, chiefs, to get through a lot quicker. So that way they're not getting stuck on the doors. So there's that one door that we saw over there. And there's a door inside here, right to the left. And we'll open that one up as well, because there'll be another chief that comes out of there. So now all we got to do is just ride this out for the next couple minutes and um, guard them. And it's as simple as that. So of course you want to have a solid build when you do this because if you're glitching through and you're dealing with all these robots, a very basic beginner build will not get you through this. As you can see, I'm just kind of melting these guys really quickly. And again, I'll go through my build in another video that way you guys can see exactly what I'm running. And I'm doing something a little different than everybody else with my build. It's um, 
I call it the special C build, which we'll get into that another time, but it's a bloody special C build is my technical terminology of what I call it. But um, now all we gotta do is just kind of go around the room, make sure that these guys are good, listen for any lasers that are going off. If I hear any lasers, just head towards that area and take them out. But um, my favorite spot to sit, okay, that's the Assaultron Chief. Um, my favorite spot to sit is actually right on top of these containers right here. So I just plop right on top and I can see everything. And I really don't really have to do too much. So we'll just ride this out until uh, until the launch prep is uh, complete. So also another tip that I like to do is I'm constantly vatsing to see if I can pick up any enemies as well so that way I can take them out immediately before they even get into this room. Um, now we have the last two chiefs coming in. And sometimes there's guys that come from behind them. It's usually like an iRobot or something that like it really does too much damage at all. But And that one's already in here, so that's good. And this last boy is moving slowly. So that is pretty much the entire silo run. Um, now for the launch codes itself, um, you'll have to put the key card in here and then type in the launch codes. Uh, to get the codes themselves, if you don't feel like running around the map and doing that whole entire convoluted, drawn out way to get the code, you can just go on nukecrypt.com. I'm sure many of you have already used it, or um, if you haven't heard of it, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. They update it weekly as there are new codes that come out weekly, so shout out to them. Very thankful for them because we would instead be having to uh, go through that entire process every single week for launching nukes, and that's just not too cool. so. But yeah, well, it looks like we are about almost 75% of the way done, and we really haven't done too much, so that is awesome. And I love this new Search the Nearby Corpses, because, ah, that's just awesome. I don't have to run around looking at every single dead body, so I can just grab all the ammo that I want. Where'd that Ultra Sight ammo just go? Oh, okay. Weird. Love that. Love that for us. And yeah, actually, I think I saw some shotgun ammo. I'll take some shotgun ammo too. And, oh my god, why does it do that? Okay. Fusion cells. I just want the ammo. I don't need anything else. I don't have Fallout first anymore. I canceled it. Oops. Not worth my money. And we are pretty much 90% of the way done. 95% of the way done. We got two guys here. Let's get some quick XP before this. Oh, that's an Assaultron. That's an Assaultron. Okay. Oh, oh boy. I messed up. Come on. There we go. Now they're all dead. Okay. So I believe I already put the launch codes in this week. So I'll just scan that. Yep. I already put the launch codes in. And we are going to fire this. Whoa, we got some AFK. Oh, Foshnot's going on. Crap. Um, well, this is awkward. Okay. Well, we're just going to send it down there and that's that that is how you run a silo in about eight minutes so hope you guys all enjoyed if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section i'll try to answer them for you guys um hope you guys uh enjoyed and i'll see you all out in the wasteland